you know, I know it's hard giving up your time, making the appointment, getting there, and actually donating the blood is a time commitment. But you don't know, on the other end, how much you improve somebody else's life. It's something you can, can give that other people need that isn't a big deal. Um, I think it's part of being a good citizen. It's something you can do that helps society at large. What I really want to get the message across is that it's no big deal to give and it's really important. I was doing gymnastics and track and donating blood and trying to run. It's probably not the best idea, so we could kind of time and then finally it took us for the email, like, let's do this. And I was like, I don't have any reason not to. Can't imagine people not either having a need for blood themselves or knowing somebody. That's impossible, I think, not to fall in one of those two categories. One donor, I wish they could see all the lives they've affected. You know, it would be so cool if you could just, like, you know, 50 donations times three, 150 people that they've ended up affecting. Once it's completely labeled the way it needs to be labeled, then it's hung up here on this hook where we are actually filtering the blood. So it has to go through this process from this container to another container. Make this donation into more than one product. We spin it in a centrifuge and that divides the red cells from the plasma and then we separate them into separate containers. You can see where it has um, the centrifuge has separated. First we have to take it really, really carefully we take most of the day's donations and the mobile donations, either anything left over from the night before that came late from the blood mobile. Those are put into boxes and shipped off to Seattle. We, we take them directly to the airport ourselves every afternoon. And they fly up to Seattle, and by the next morning, we usually have the test results completed. I try to do what I can to help others, and I know there's a lot of people that can benefit in many different ways, not just from blood, but from plasma and the other things that I would extract from the blood. So I try to give back and help others. If, if I ever needed it, I know it would be there. So. In January, my life was turned upside down. I got a diagnosis of ovarian cancer. It was the second cancer site in two years. I had breast cancer also. In the last six months, since January 3rd, I've had three transfusions. The first one was related to surgery. But after I had the two units of blood, the difference was unbelievable. I got out of ICU, I was in my regular hospital room, and I was able to recover so much better. I want to be able to participate in life. I don't want to be an outsider. I am a very involved person. I love being with my grandkids. I love going to my granddaughter's baseball games. When I was so tired, I couldn't do that. And it hurt my heart. It made me sad when I had to tell her, honey, I can't come to your game. I'm just too tired tonight. So it allows me the blood products and the increased energy level allow me to do the things that I really, really want to do.